Now I'm going to talk about how you can run an analysis in Hypermesh. Uh, to do this, there, there are two ways to do it. First way is to go to optimization and to click on Optistruct and then to get this panel. The second way is to go to analysis and click on Optistruct button and get the same panel again. Okay, so let's talk about the input file. The input file has extension .fem. As the model was saved as a Hypermesh file before with an extension of .hm, the same name and path is now used for the analysis. The file extension .fem is automatically assigned. Now export option is set to all. If we click here, we can get all the other options, but we see select all. The run option is set to analysis. We can also click on check and this will only check the model and not do an analysis so we'll keep analysis memory option is set to memory default and options is set to dash opt skip uh, once the analysis is started a solver or solution file uh, log file is being created and this file is named uh, dot output dot out uh, to view this file we can do this by clicking this button view dot out so let's just run an analysis now by clicking Optistruct. Now we get a message uh, that uh, another .fem file has been found. And if we want to over overwrite, because we already run this analysis before, so we just click yes. And then in the left lower corner, we get some messages. What is going on? The analysis being, is running. However, we get some uh, element error, which something is wrong. We're going to click on view output. We're going to look our look through our output file, and at one point we see that there is a note saying to bypass element quality checks, uh, use param check element no, since all the messages uh, error messages are related to the quality elements, and there is only like 13, so we just close this file. We go to return. We go to analyze again. Control cards. And then we click next and we find param card. We click on it. Then we go here and we find the check element. Check element is here. We click it. And then param check element. We click on yes. Again, we select no. We click on return. Return. Go to analysis again, optistruct, and we run the analysis again. We overwrite dot fem. Now the run analysis is running, and this time it is uh, completed successfully. So you can see analysis completed. Uh, to view the results, we just have to click on results, and we have to wait until. Another program called Hyperview opens. Okay, now the file has been opened. And then here we can we can see an option to load the model, which is .h3d, and the results also .h3d. So we just click apply. This operation will discard all current Windows window model data. Continue, yes. So now all the results have been loaded and we can go into more details here.